Hi, I'm here to talk to you about properly adjusting your squeegee. Does your machine, is it laying too flat on the floor and smearing? Are the tips off the ground where the back is down or vice versa, where the tips are smashed in the ground and the back is off the floor? You're not going to get great water pickup if that's happening to you, which means you probably need to adjust your squeegee. Now each machine is equipped with its own built-in wrench. And there's three points you need to adjust on this squeegee. There's the turnbuckle here, which adjusts your pitch of the squeegee. And then you have your left and right casters, which control your ride height. So if you are having a pitch issue where it's down in the middle or up in the middle and down on the sides or up on the sides, what you do is you take your wrench, you loosen the two jam nuts, and then put the smaller end of the wrench in and you can see the actuation of that. So we can get this squeegee back into its correct pitch. And then when we feel it's right, lock down the jam nuts. If it is a ride height issue, uh, you take your same wrench, loosen the jam nuts on top of the caster, and you can spin the caster up or down to the required height you need. And then once it's at your correct level, you can then jam that nut back down. And make sure to put your wrench back for next time you need it. Another problem you might be having with your squeegee is an actual worn blade. Our squeegees are designed to utilize all four edges. Right now when we're scrubbing on the floor and dragging the squeegee, it's actually on this inside edge. You do have one on the back as well and two more up top. Those are easily swapped without tools. You undo the over center latch. This band comes off, this band slides out, and then just feed your blade out. And now we can choose another edge that has a nice crisp edge on it. Those all just indent back on the stainless bolt heads. And now we slide our large retaining strap on the back. Slide in the little one, catch her over center, and pull it tight. And there we're done. Another thing you probably don't know about your squeegee, if we flip this upside down, I can show you. On the inside edge, which isn't that critical for water pickup, it's just uh, holding air and creating velocity. It's really your back squeegee blade that pro provides a superior pickup. But if you notice, there's three holes on this side and there's five holes on the top side. This allows you to flip your blade um, to change airflow performance on different types of floor. Obviously, if you're on a very smooth floor, like polished concrete or VCT, you wanna, there are no natural air leaks in that floor, so you want to create air leaks in the blade. If you're on a really rough, busted up concrete or a uh, grouted tile, which already has natural air leaks in the floor, then you don't want as many air leaks in the blade. So we're going to run the three side down.